Since you may wonder why it's dark outside and why I'm in a car so early in the morning, it's 544. I don't know if that clock is right. It's got to be 644. Yeah, it's got to be 644. I am actually on my way to the um, Raleigh Airport to pick up my niece Jessica, her husband Eric, Continuing and the two miles. kids. Continuing miles. And the kids, they are coming in today. And we did not have anybody else available to go down and pick them up. And my mother's not that good of a driver. She can't see in the dark to drive. So it wasn't a good idea for her to leave this early in the morning to go. And she also cannot drive in a lot of traffic. And there's a lot of traffic around the airport. So I left her with cups with times as to when to give Pa his medications and hopefully everything goes smooth at home while everything goes smooth with me driving. Good morning everybody. I'm sharing my eggs with Bootsy this morning. Of course she's standing on them. So it's uh, Friday morning, and uh, I'm probably going to be working on uh, some of the larger project uh, vlog projects that uh, we have, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to be doing any work around the house today. Maybe. to the um, Raleigh Airport. Yeah, Raleigh Airport. <sighs> extremely, extremely tired. I hope Eric or Jessica will drive back. So maybe I can close my eyes for a little while. Yeah, I really need to do that. So I'm still waiting for them to come out. I am going to set my GPS to get back to my mom and dad's house and um, hopefully like I said one of them will drive back and I can just close my eyes for a little um, For some reason Frick here is all upset about something so and he just ate a couple of days ago so he, he can't be too hungry I can put some lettuce in there maybe he'll I like some greens, but uh, yeah, he's a little agitated. So they're all bellied up to the salad bar today. Is that enough? You're going at it for a second there, or is it just because I'm standing there? I will walk away. I will. Yep, that's all it was. They're gonna fight over it, huh? You guys are crazy. There's a big old ton of it. So it's been a long day, and Pa and my great nephew are all tuckered out and They're napping birthday. together. And they're birthday twins. Yes, they are birthday twins. No, yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are birthday How twins. Many years <laughs> Just a couple years apart. <laughs> and they're so tired. Three. They're so tired. How many years? Seventy-three. Seventy-three years apart. Okay, so Max from the Philippines. I don't know how she got them. I don't know if she ordered them or if one of her um, subscribers sent it to her. But there's a couple of them that she uh, she wanted me to taste that she tasted and I'll be tasting that a little later and there's another one that she didn't even open because it says it's hot and it's called Boy Bawang Cornic and it says hot garlic flavor bigger tastier crunchier than what I don't know but 
I'm going to open this thing up and give it a taste. Kind of looks like, um, what do you call those corn things? The initial flavor was kind of weird. It's kind of like cereal. It's very different. It's not hot, at least not for my taste buds. I, but I eat a lot of hot stuff. I can't even say I can taste a lot of garlic. It's not bad though. I don't know if I buy this. But I'm certainly probably going to finish eating it. Corn nuts. It, has, it kind of looks like corn nuts. So, it's not bad. Now the other one she wanted me to try is called Oishi's Ribbed Cracklin, an old-fashioned salt and vinegar. And that's what that bag looks like. And it just looks like some of those baked chips. Uh, it doesn't taste like real salt and vinegar. It tastes like Someone's idea of what something else should taste like, kind of like salt and vinegar. It has a lot of tart to it, like there's uh, citrus in it. It's different. Made me pucker up from the beginning. But, um, yeah, I, I'd say that's not my favorite, but I'll probably end up eating it because I'll eat anything, basically. So, there's that. If anybody knew about these or was interested in them, yeah. Well, guys, it's the end of a got the hiccups. Another long day. <sighs> I picked the kids up from the airport and just been hanging out with family and talking and playing with the, the great nieces and nephews and. Uh, having some quality family time today so I didn't film a whole heck of a lot and I didn't get to a lot of comments today but um, it's going to be a crazy few days here and uh, I'll try and film as much as I can in between not all of my family likes to be on camera so I will not be filming um, everybody but uh, I will film as much as I possibly can. And my father wanted me to make sure I said thank you again to everybody for the um, thoughts and prayers that you're all sending to him. He greatly appreciates everything. And um, we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today for the little bit of time that you were here. Please give us a great big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and share this video with your family and friends. Oh, and if any of you did not catch it, did you see what Kevin did to my Daryl? Mm-hmm. Yup. Payback's a Bruin. See you guys tomorrow. Kevin, you're in trouble.